happy Sunday. Yesterday, on my way to Costco, I stopped by the P.O. Box. I hadn't been there in a while, and you guys sent me a ton of cards and goodies, so I thought it would be fun to open these up on camera. You guys don't have to send me anything, but I love getting cards from you guys, especially because I just think it's so cool to, um, you know, connect with you guys in that way. It's really fun. But the first one is from an Australia. It's from Australia. Yeah, this is the coolest part about YouTube is like getting to connect with people all over the world. Um, especially now that we can't travel the world. Um, it's, it's even nicer. Oh cool, we got a QV cleanser. It made it to, to whoever sent it, it made it. I haven't opened the card yet, thank you so much. But it didn't leak or anything, that is, that is good. Oh, we got a pretty copper envelope. I don't know if that's showing up on camera. Oh, what a pretty card. I love hummingbirds. I toy with the idea of getting a hummingbird feeder, but I think it would just attract ants. I don't have any flowers outside, so I don't really have much to tempt. Um, oh, what a sweet message. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> what else do we have in here? Oh, cool. Looks like we have a sunscreen from the Cancer Council. This is a chemical sunscreen. It's got bimotrizinol in it. And let's pop open the seal. SPF 50. This person has sent me sent me another Australian sunscreen from the Cancer Council in the past. I think it was you. Um, I know you've sent me sunscreens before. Um, but yeah, you sent me a Cetaphil sunscreen. That was really good. The Australian Cetaphil is, is a really a good sun. They make a really good sunscreen. I'm currently wearing that. I'm currently wearing that, um, the image image skincare sunscreen I got on iHerb a while ago. I'm actually kind of enjoying it despite the fact that it smells like Kool-Aid. Oh yeah, it's nice and quick absorbing. It's not greasy. Is this water resistant? Yep. This is water resistant four hours, wow. Oh wow, that's a really nice one. Thank you, awesome. All right, and then, ooh, we got snacks. These are so good, I love these. They get them from time to time at Costco. I wonder how the Australian version differs, because this one says made in Australia from at least 35% Australian ingredients. Yeah, this stuff is really good. It has like all of the kind of Indian spices in it. Oh, so good, thank you so much, yay. <laughs> Here's another card from one of you all. It's really pretty and has a very nice message inside. Thank you so much. I love this. Oh, it's so pretty. Follow your heart. That's a vegan cheese, isn't it? I always hear the vegan YouTubers singing the praises of it, but I've never actually tried it. I don't like fake vegan cheese. I just don't like it. <laughs> I don't care for it, but so I've never tried it. This came from Louisiana. Oh, cool, we got lip patches. I might have to do those tonight, you guys, just for fun. Thank you so much. My collagen hydrogel patches. Awesome, thank you. I'm gonna put those on tonight, you guys. Oh, and she also sent these stickers, which I'm really excited for because they are gonna go perfect in my planner. Thank you so much. There are these little smiley faces, and then the back is like different foods and stuff and little like fun symbols. These are perfect. Perfect size for my planner. Thank you so much. I'm excited about that. This is like Christmas in July. I also got another very nice handwritten note and the author mentioned that she is totally getting a laptop elevator for her workspace. You guys, that, I don't know if you can see it, but that laptop elevator along with my treadmill and my steam mop, I think are some of the best purchases I've made during this whole stay at home time. I also got another pretty uh, thank you card. Isn't that cute? Nice flowers and the little, like, is that a rhinestone? Yeah, 
was pretty. Thank you. Then I was glad to receive this card from a longtime viewer who has sent me cards in the past. It's so good to hear from you. I don't want to share anybody's name or anything, but thank you so much. I really enjoyed reading your message. <laughs> Yeah, it's always, that's the other fun thing is that a lot of you um, have sent me multiple cards over the years and it's kind of fun to stay in touch with you. All right, and then we got a blue, blue mailer. This person wrote me a nice note saying that she likes my um, pom-pom headband. Thank you, and sent me a goodie with a pretty ribbon on the outside. Let's see what it is. I think I know, because she alluded to what it was in the car, in the note. Oh cool, it's one of these uh, Conair combs. Thank you so much, you can hang it, which is really convenient. Because I have like shelves in my, um, in my bathroom closet that have like little, like I can hang that from there, which is handy. Thank you so much. This is from the Amazonia. It feels like a book, which by the way, last night I started reading that book. It seems like it might be a good one. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, so yeah, I'm making progress on my, oh good, it is a book. This looks like a good one. I love books. Why is there not a profession where your job, where it's your job to just read all day? I mean, I guess there, that does exist, being a book, book critic. That's a great job. Although I'm sure you have to read a lot of like dull, poorly written bo books as part of your job, but hey, I would trade that. That sounds like a good, a good life. <laughs> then you have to actually write the review. That probably is laborious. refills on the altruist awesome thank you so much spf 30 i love this sunscreen you guys and a portion of the proceeds go to a phenomenal charity called under the same sun oh what a pretty card she sent too i don't know if you can see it it's, it says thank you thank you so much she said her family sent them to her from england awesome thank you so much yeah, I love the Altruist SPF, really good. That was a very nice letter, and she said the stationery is over 30 years old. It's beautiful. Thank you. I'm gonna hang, maybe I can get a little frame for that. It's really pretty. And then we have a box here that I'm gonna open, and I wish I could show you, but I can't because it has the person's mailing address, but there are these cute little fairy stickers on the box. Thank you, I really like that. We've got a card here. Oh, a cute bird. I love it. Happy summertime. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, these look comfortable. They're pants. I'm definitely, oh no, it's not pants. It's a little dress. Oh, how cute. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's got like little, you can tie it up in the front. That's cute, thank you. And it's like long, that's cute. I really like that. Looks like we have a t-shirt. This is expertly rolled. I need to like put my clothing, fold my clothing this way, or at least my shirts. Makes for less chaos in the drawer. Boxes of the world. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is so cute. Thank you. I love that. It's got like, 
cute little foxes all over it. <laughs> I love that. Oh, awesome. Some so running socks. Thank you. Healthy, odor-free, dry, antimicrobial. These look like they're really good for running. I burn through my running socks very, very quickly. It seems like I'm always, I put a pair on and it's like, oh, <laughs> these have a hole in the bottom now. Looks like we got an, these, this shirt rolling thing is awesome. I need to learn how to do this. Oh, another little fox t-shirt. Always be yourself unless you can be a fox. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, I love these. Thank you so much. Oh, cute. Some little like shorts. Those are cute. Oh, it's from Sea Wonder. <laughs> Thank you. Those are really cute. Cabana shorts. They look comfortable. Definitely perfect for the hot summer weather. We have like a month, maybe six weeks where it's cold. I'm not complaining. I prefer the heat. Even this heat, which is miserable, I prefer and don't mind. I can't do, I can't do cold weather, you guys. I just can't. Wow, this is cute. It's a cute little dress. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Wow, a little new wardrobe here. That's really cute. And these are adorable. Also sent these cute little foxes. How adorable, thank you so much. Wow, like I said, it's like Christmas in July. Thank you guys so much. You do not have to send me anything. I love getting your cards. That alone definitely makes my day. Going to the P.O. Box is the best thing. And with everything going on, with all the social distancing, I've had a hard time getting there as frequently. And so going there is a treat. <laughs> See all these cards and things. I'm over here in Target and I see that Pixie came out with this Clarity Tonic. It's a salicylic acid, um, like basically toner that, I mean salicylic acid as I said in numerous videos. I have even a whole video on salicylic acid. Great ingredient for acne control and it can help unclog pores. Um, and it also can help remove surface hyperpigmentation. This also has licorice root extract in it, which is anti-inflammatory. Willow bark extract is anti-inflammatory. And it has uh, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, which is vitamin C, but not like the ill ascorbic that we have all the data for. Anyways, and then it also has um, Centilla in it, which is anti-inflammatory. So this actually looks pretty good. It doesn't have any fragrance in it. I'm surprised. So cool. Glad to see that. And I just saw they have Pixie has some eye gel patches. You guys know I enjoy these. These look actually very similar to the Derma E ones. I like they're clocking in at 24 bucks here, so that's not too bad um, for the 30. And this has. Um, uh, oh, it's got lemon fruit extract in it. Never mind. It can be irritating. Um, but it's got licorice root, which can brighten up hyperpigmentation in the eyes. They also have this Fortify eye one that has uh, a bunch of different peptides that can kind of help firm the skin and add a, hi add a hydrating effect as well. This one, both of these um, also have caffeine in them, which can uh, transiently improve the look of under eye dark circles, but not the, the not the hereditary ones. Well, hey guys, <clears throat> I'm just whipping up my strawberry chia pudding for the week. Um, I just have a 
is it 32 ounce containers worth of strawberries washed but yeah it's super simple i just puree the strawberries as is yeah i don't add any sweetener or anything um but you certainly can and then i just add a quarter of a cup of chia seeds and it is delicious i don't eat this all in one sitting now i have it throughout the week um four or five servings Ah, the skin elixir. All those antioxidants. All right, I do ha I pour half in and then I do the add the chia seeds and then I pour the rest on top. That sandwich method I find helps the chia seeds mix in a little bit better. Then I just take a fork and I mix them together. So you guys, August is already almost here practically. I, I'm going to set up my um, month here in my planner. I have some stickers uh, I like to put down. I got these stickers from the shop I've been really happy with. Um, it's called Plan Fantastic on Etsy. I highly recommend them if you're into planners. Um, and I just love the monthly kits for the Erin Condren. I feel like in the summer, August just comes really, really quickly. Yeah, it just makes it pop a little bit more to have the different stickers on there. And I love the font that this particular kit used too. Um, I think that's a good, uh, I really like that. You know, August is when people typically start, you know, thinking about back to school and everything. But this year is just a lot of unknowns. Comment below if you have kids in school, are they, going back to school or are they doing some kind of distance learning? Have you figured that out yet or is it still a waiting to hear more? You know, it can be very, I can only imagine how anxiety provoking that must be for families and teachers too, my gosh. Cause I would assume that teachers start, you know, I know they work on their lesson plans and everything during the summer and getting their classroom ready. So this must be like really frustrating because you don't really know how to prepare and then when it's start time, it's go time. And I think that's gotta be really frustrating. Like you could work on a digital lesson plan only to have it not be implemented. You could work on you know, I, I have no idea. I'm just kind of assuming that this is the struggle. But if you're a teacher, comment below. It just, that, that seems like really stressful <clears throat> to me. But if your children are going back to school, are there like, what are the schools doing as far as like, oh boy, I didn't get that on there quite right. Is it gonna come up? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm just gonna deal with the kind of crooked five. It looks kind of cute anyways. Yeah, what what are you guys, what are your schools doing in terms of like keeping the kids apart, sanitizing things? It's interesting. It's a lot to figure out. And for families where both parents are, you know, there's not a parent who stays home and works with the kids, then how the heck are you supposed to work and have your kids at home doing school? 
I am kind of stressed out about it, even though I don't have kids, because it definitely impacts the future. That's the thing, you guys. Even if you're like, if you're like me and you don't have children, you can't live in a childless bubble. You have to, at least that's my what I believe. You have to realize, you have to pay attention to how things affect children around you because they're going to grow up and make decisions that impact you. So it behooves everyone to to care about the welfare of young kids. You can't just be in you can't just be in the childless bubble being like, oh it's not my problem. I don't have kids. Glad I don't have to deal with it. You kinda do in a way. Is August a completely holidayless month? What a drag. <laughs> there are no holidays in August. July, you know, we have 4th of July. Does anybody have an August birthday? If so, comment below so everybody can wish you a happy birthday coming up. <laughs> Early birthday. Has anybody celebrated their birthday during social distancing in any unique way? See, this is, if you are a planner person, I think you will understand what I'm talking about here. But the coil, it's great, but it gets in the way. Like, that's one of my gripes with this planner. I love the coil, but when I wanna write over here, I hate it because you know, my hand rests on the coil and then I can't get my handwriting to look normal. But this particular sticker shop has stickers for different planners. So if you don't, if you're not into Erin Condren or that's not the planner system that you use, they have like Hobonichi. I've just really been happy with this shop. I um, will say this, though, it takes forever to receive your order, um, like several weeks, so plan accordingly. And these particular stickers are not forgiving in terms of they're not repositionable. Yeah, I love Etsy, you guys. I can spend way too much time on there. I don't know. At least you feel like you're supporting a small business, small creator. But I feel like I've never sold anything on Etsy or like tried to get into it beyond just shopping. Don't the artists kind of get the shaft on there? Like doesn't Etsy like take most of their earnings? I guess it's nice to kickstart your, your creative business though. And then once you develop a loyal customer base, you can put in the resources to launch a website and direct traffic there. So I guess it's good in that way. What else can you buy on Etsy though? I mostly buy obviously doll clothes from my Blythe doll and my um, Willy Wisher doll and then stickers, but I've never really purchased anything else on Etsy. Like, do you guys shop on there? If so, what do you buy? have a paper cut on my finger. My nails probably look dirty, but it's because I'm wearing these black shorts that have a little bit of like lint to them and it gets under my fingernails. So sorry to gross you out with, with that. I need to cut my nails, they're getting too long. My nails grow really fast. I like have to cut them every other week at least. Well, hey guys, it's the end of the night and I am exhausted. I don't know why. I just feel really tired. I know why. I did my rebounder tonight. I rebounded and whenever I do that thing, I sleep like a baby. I do it, I do a rebounder workout maybe two to three times a week and the other days I run on the treadmill. But yeah, that thing just, I don't know, maybe the action of bouncing up and down somehow makes your brain more tired, <laughs> I have no idea. Because when you're on it, it doesn't really feel like you're doing an intense workout or anything. But after, after you finish, 
you definitely feel it and then I always sleep like a baby. Hopefully I don't have another weird like McDonald's bedding story, um, bedding dream like I did the other night. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I rebounded that, that night, but who knows. Yeah, yesterday I described how I had this weird dream where I was in a McDonald's placing bets with people. And then, you know, if they won, I was going to get them something off the dollar menu. Woohoo! Yeah. But, anyways, I was going to do this, and I'm actually going to do it. My lip mask that one of you sent me. But I didn't want to put it on and then come on here because I think I won't be able to talk. So, <laughs> I'm sure this is a really flattering angle. <laughs> um, okay, this... You guys are balancing on my abdomen. Um, this mask has fragrance in it, obviously. It also has ginger root, Coptis haponica. Uh, oops. It says it also has five super berries, strawberry, blueberry. I just ate blueberries and strawberries tonight. <laughs> and then I spent time flossing my teeth to get the skins out of my teeth. Anyways. For external use only. Yeah, for external use only. Don't eat this. Wouldn't it be something, though, you guys, if... I don't understand why they don't make things like this edible. Like an edible lip mask. That would be cool. I'm sure they could do that. They could make edible masks. No fragrance or anything weird in them. And they could be made out of, like, some kind of cellulose or something that you like some kind of starch or something that you could ingest um, I don't know, would you eat your face mask? Bear in mind it like, would have no weird ingredients in it it'd just be like some sort of digestible non-toxic quite literally uh, humectant carbohydrate kind of thing I think that would be sustainable <laughs> that's for sure alright hanging on there on my abdominal float that I have you guys on. I'm impressed that that uh, tripod is staying there. Right. Yeah, they could just make it out of auger. You can eat auger. That's like vegan jello. Oops, slippery. Vegan jello. All right. Maybe I have it on the wrong way. Yeah. Oops. Slip through. It already kind of burns. It feels like it has... I can see why they warn against ingesting this. It, you kind of do have a strange compulsion to eat it. Because it seems like some kind of a candy. Alright, I'm going to leave this on. I'm going to leave this on for the 10 to 15 minutes, but I'm going to close the vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you all for watching. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!